Alright, welcome to the second part of how to paint an ultramarine space marine. And we're starting. Uh, I'm going to use Iron Breaker to highlight all of the metal areas. The parts that are really small, like uh, the joints between the legs and the, uh, the respirator and all that you want to be uh, silver, uh, I'm just gonna use a fine brush to uh, just give it a little touch on the sharpest edges that you can find and the bolter I'm going to edge highlight it on the uh, silver areas as you can see uh, I'm using a lot of edge highlighting this is really typical on the uh, Games Workshop miniatures that I've seen on boxes I think that you would agree they, uh, re they don't really use uh, a realistic way of painting. They like like to use a lot of uh, edge highlighting, and uh, if you try it, trust me, it really uh, looks good. I don't know how it looks a little bit cartoony, maybe, but uh, it looks very, very, very well. Now I'm going to use Rhinox hide, and I'm going to base coat all of the uh, pouches and leather areas. This includes both patches, uh, pouches on the both sides of the miniature and the uh, strap on the bolter that he has here. Just make sure to thin down your paint. Never forget, always thin down even a little bit if you're doing uh, small details. Now I'm using Sandry Dust to base coat the uh, scroll of the purity seal. It's a fairly easy step. And then Corn Red on the uh, seal, on the wax seal of the purity seal. Just remember to be patient at these uh, little details. You don't want to your paint to run to other places that you can't fix. Now, well, you can if you are saving the paint, but if you do it on sessions, you will have to mix the paint again and uh, fix what you didn't like you, what you uh, messed up. And I use this same color, the corn red, for the uh, ice. And then try to use a uh, finest brush to color just half of the eye, of the front part of the eye, with Wasdaka red. And the third part, I'm going to use Wild Rider red and just uh, put a little dot on the very end, on the front end of the uh, lens, creating a little transition. Next, I'm using Model Air White to put a little dot on the back of the lens to suggest a reflection. You can use uh, White Scar for the Games Workshop range, but Model Air was already thinned down, and so it was quicker for me. Now, I'm using Administratum Gray to uh, base coat the arrow. I'm going to use three colors on the arrow, but you don't want to just just uh, jump into the white because it's supposed to be white, but you don't want to just use white because uh, you will have to do a really thick layer to uh, to get white really to pop. You just have to go from gray to white. Now I'm using Vallejo Liquid Gold, Old Gold, and I'm going to use it in all of the areas that I want to be gold. As in my other video videos, if you have seen it, you know the range, and it's really, really beautiful looking when you, when you paint it. And uh, yeah, I just prefer it from Games Workshop uh, Metallics. Now, if I want to do look to make something look really uh, shiny and kind of maybe a pimp, uh, just uh, use this range instead. I'm using a synthetic brush, a kind of cheap, cheap one actually. It was about two something, two dollar, US dollar, and uh, being very careful not to mess up all of the other details. Now I'm using uh, an oil wash for the uh, gold because I don't want to use regular wash from Games Workshop because that I find that tools down a little bit of the uh, shine that the uh, that the uh, liquid gold range has, so I'm just going over the uh, 
the miniature with mineral mineral spirits and and uh, oil paint of burnt umber, thin to wash and uh, just just applying it. Now I'm going with the regular uh, washes, the citadel washes. I'm going to use. Uh, I think it was a uh, known oil, or you can use Agrax Earthshade for the uh, pouches. And then I'm going to use uh, Quiffon Sepia for uh, the purity seal. You can use it on red because Quiffon Sepia is kind of reddish. Also, actually, Sepia is kind of reddish, reddish brown. Now, I'm going for highlights. I'm going to use Ushafti Bone on the purity seal. Just leaving a little touch of the last uh, color on the deepest shadows, if you can find any, and do it like so. And then I'm going to use Screaming Skull to give it a, a final highlight to the purity seal. Actually, in this tutorial, I forgot to scribble something on the purity seal, but uh, it's not really a big deal, I think. It's just a, uh, a really fine brush to do it, and uh, yeah, it, it doesn't matter because it's all it's uh, uh, it's actually covered by the bolter, so it's I don't I don't think it's much of a deal. Now I'm using the uh, Wild Rider Red to edge highlight the purity seal, and then I'm going to use Scrack Brown to edge highlight the uh, pouches to make it a really dark leather. I'm not really highlighting the pr places where light hits, I'm just uh, edge highlighting. If you mess up like I do sometimes, uh, some people may think that I don't fix it. I actually go back and fix it off camera, try to bring the color back with the old color, and yeah, you'll be okay. It happens all the time to me, so not a big deal again. I'm going to use Balor Brown now to paint the very edges of the pouches of the uh, leather areas including the uh, belt on the bolter. I think I'm going to show it on this step or if I skipped over it I'm sorry but it's basically that you just pick your uh, yeah you pick your uh, sharpest edges or sharper, sharpest curves on the strap and edge highlight Now what I'm doing here, I'm using Downstone to edge highlight the bolter case. And that's practically all of the highlights that the bolter is gonna have. As you can see, I used the uh, the liquid gold on the the eagle that the bolter has. You can just it's the same step as in the uh, Aquila on the miniature and on the trims. Now I'm going to use this is. Uh, Ulthwan, Ulthwan Gray, something like that? I don't really know the name. Uh, I choose to edge highlight, but at the end I just choose to uh, cover the whole arrow because uh, difference on grays, it's really, uh, it's, you can notice it, so it just cover the whole arrow with, it, with that uh, color. And then I'm going to use a white scar to edge highlight the, uh, the arrow. You don't want the arrow to be all white. It's kind of it's, it's good, but it's I think it looks better if you have a transition color, even if if it's white. Now this is the finished model. I really like it a lot. I think it looks very well. I hope you agree and uh, like this tutorial. If you do, please don't forget to subscribe like and comment uh, if you want to see more videos if you support my channel this way this really gives me the energy to keep on uh, painting and uploading because it's a bit of work and I'm trying to improve on the quality of my videos so please uh, feel free to leave uh, any kind of a request if you want to see something painted I'm always open to see if I can help you out now thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please feel free to leave any comments that you have. I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.